Africa boasts some of the world's most innovative entrepreneurs who are making a difference in their respective uh, communities. The Jack Ma Foundation's primary charitable program, Africa's Business Heroes, is an annual competition that aims to promote an inclusive and thriving entrepreneurial ecosystem in Africa with a yearly grant of $1.5 million. Now, as the 2022 competition kicks off, we have the 2021 first place winner joining us live from Cairo, Khadija Mohamed Ilbedwihi, uh, who is the founder of Praxi Labs, a virtual 3D science lab platform. Good afternoon, Khadija. Thank you so much uh, for joining us and congratulations. You won first place with a $300,000 uh, prize from the Jack Ma Foundation's uh, Africa Business Heroes Competition. What was the experience uh, like for you? Uh, good afternoon, everyone. It's, uh, it's really a pleasure to be with you all and to tell you more about our experience. Um, whenever anyone asks me about ABH, I just say the first word on top of my mind. It's really, really very unique. So I've been to several competitions and we won in a lot of them, but ABH was so different in terms of the type of impact that it leaves on people on, on, on lives, they try to pick the most uh, entrepreneurs out uh, in, the, in Africa that could impact several. It's not like just, for example, hundreds of people. It's hundreds of thousands of lives out there that get impacted by those startups. So, for example, startups in education, in health, in agriculture, in even removing the poverty of people. So its impact on like billions actually in Africa is huge. But not only in that, but from my perspective as an entrepreneur, it just does a lot of learning and mentoring for us. So once you start just applying, you get to know a lot. You get to, to get connected to experts from your industry. You get to be mentored by the best people there. And then if all goes well, as in our case, you just get to thrive and see how you can win in something like uh, prestigious, like ABH. So it's a thrill to us. Fantastic. Can you, can you speak to the importance of competitions like this to entrepreneurship in, on the African continent? Yes. So, um, for example, one of the things I've seen when meeting uh, other people out there is that we don't know a lot about each other. We work in we might even work in the same industry with the same audience, but uh, startups um, across Africa do not know a lot about each other. So this, I could say one of the very important things that could happen is just collaboration and network networking between startups and how partnerships can go out of this or can happen because of this. This is only the first thing. But other than that also, making sure that people know that there's some uh, people out there supporting them. So just, 12,000 applications, for example, are, are submitted, but not all of them win. But even those 12,000 uh, submissions, they try to learn how to win. So they are motivated. They are pushed to do their best. They are challenged. So I think it's being, it's, it's amazing to just see how many people can go through this, how many of them will learn and will affect their businesses. And then just everything will start improving. And again, as, as I was saying, it's a huge community getting those people together. Excellent stuff. Now, I want to take a look at some screenshots of your virtual labs over at Praxi Labs. Um, can you explain what I said, once essentially Praxi Labs does? Yeah, so uh, briefly and in very simple words, as you can see here, Praxi Labs is a virtual labs platform. So if people don't see it a lot, it's as if you're doing the experiments in chemistry, biology and physics. But rather than having to go to the real lab, which might, you might not have, you do it on your computer. You open your computer, you have a web browser, you open the platform, you can do every experiment. For example, DNA extraction, as you can see, you can go through the experiment step by step. Make sure you learn it right, you will do the learning outcomes in the right way. You don't have to go through the safety hazards, not the cost, the expensiveness of any, uh, 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 not only running a cost, running a lab, but even just the consumables. They are very expensive for our countries, and that's only one of the importances of the virtual lab. But also, see how many students can enter the lab at the same time, but with a virtual lab, every student has his own lab at his fingerprints. So it's really, really trying to just make a difference and make lab work accessible to every student in Africa. That is so cool. Now, what you're doing keys into the metaverse. Was, was, when you started this, was the metaverse talk, was that already, that had already begun? Was that part of your plans? And looking ahead, can you see how this can, you know, link up in there? 
Yeah, that's a, that's a very nice question. Actually, we've been there years before the metaverse, uh, but because it's it's there and uh, before there was VR, now there's also the haptic feedbacks. So we are always looking at the innovation that is happening around us, the technology. At Praxi Labs, our team is so um, uh, looking forward to always try the new innovations, but we take it very, very carefully because we are not after the hype, for example. We are after making sure that this adds value to the learning outcomes of students. So if it's really adding value to education over the time, then definitely we'll be happy to, over, to, to look to work with it. But as I'm telling you, we do a lot of trials, we do a lot of experimentation with experts and psychologists to make sure this really is affecting students in the positive way and doesn't have any effects, for example, or side effects on their health. So this is very important for us to make sure first. Indeed, indeed. So now the thing is, I mean, your business relies on internet access and there are parts of Africa that still lack, you know, internet access, uh, accessibility. Are you optimistic about that improving over time? Yeah, uh, this was one of the questions in the competition, by the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> and we're very curious about it because we are impacting Africa, so we need to have solutions for Africa. So uh, the first thing is, yes, indeed, it is so much improving and progressing over the last years. But say, having said that, on the other side, we are working on our own plans to make sure we don't have anything or any blocker in our way to reach all the students in Africa. And that's why they are working so hard to release our native app very soon. It will help with a lot of issues in the internet, but also with the infrastructure. So not all the students there have laptops. A lot of them are used to uh, their phones and their tablets. So we are very optimistic about uh, being able to help using our native app very right. soon. Great stuff. My, my final question for you, science labs are vital to schools and education. Well, what's your take on school curriculums? Are they, for instance, in Egypt, you know, are they keeping up with where, what you're doing right now um, along that path? Yeah, actually, um, this is one of the toughest things I, I can see in, in Egypt, of course, it might be, and also in a lot of places, but in Egypt, it's something that is really dif difficult uh, to make sure that you change all the curriculum, but also not just change it again. It's not like a hype or just going with the innovations, but make sure that it is really the, 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 right, the, right, uh, uh, the right thing that your students needed in terms of being able to make sure that we have these teachers that are ready and developed to teach this, these curriculums. So it's not only changing the curriculums, it's changing the curriculum, but also having a lot of teacher development. So I believe that our uh, government has been um, uh, working hard over the last years to make sure of those two aspects, teacher development and also changing the curriculum and making sure we are up to date. It's not yet there, but I'm sure that we are going on uh, the right track and we are moving uh, progressively. All right, thank you so much for joining us. It really, really has been uh, great to talk to you. Congratulations again on winning the Africa Business Heroes Award from the Jack Ma Foundation. Khadija Mohammed Ilbidwidi from Cairo, uh, founder of Praxi Labs. Thanks for your time.